All right, guys, we're going to talk about Collection Shield 360. Um, this is my unbiased review. Um, I've used them in the past. They're um, okay, but we're going to go ahead and jump into really the, you know, meat and potatoes of Collection Shield 360. So, Collection Shield 360, um, what they do is they dispute, you know, collections on your credit report. Um, it's real simple what they do for free um, they do offer they, if you want to have more accounts disputed at one period of time it will be 10 bucks a month after like three months so that's pretty cool you know if you don't have the time you know you don't have the money to hire you know a credit repair specialist you know you can get involved with collection shield 360 that's the thing that's pretty cool about them you know you know, you get your credit report, which is through Credit Karma. That's really how they dispute. They really do the disputing on TransUnion and Equifax. Um, they don't really necessarily do Experian, and that's the downside of them. Um, you know, they do offer, you know, like credit monitoring. I'm not sure the company, but like I said, it's, you know, it's really just TransUnion and Equifax. They say they dispute Experian, but it's a little different because they're disputing directly with the collection agency. They're not disputing the credit bureau. Okay. Um, you know, you sign up, click on the Get Protected, you know, icon. You fill all this out, put your name and everything. Um, your account number, um, first name, last name, email, phone number, uh, cell number. Um, you are giving them permission to dispute some letters on your behalf. Uh, and after that, they link your credit report, which is a link to your credit karma, which is pretty cool. Um, I've used them. Um, honestly, for the most part, you're better off learning how to dispute your own credit, how to do your own credit, really and truly. Um, let me show you what one of the letters actually look like. Um, go to Dropbox. As you can see, you get the instructions, credit dispute, collection accounts, etc. You know, include your ID, social, pretty much walking you step by step. Um, send a certified mail to the credit bureaus. Send you a checklist of what you need. And this dispute, this is actually to the credit bureau, not the collection agency. You know, they disputed it with the collection agency and they got a negative response back from them. Um, as you can see, something very basic, nothing too special at all. Um, something that really you can do yourself. Um, I do have templates that I sell on Fiverr.com. They're a lot more powerful and in-depth than these. Um, they're not your regular 609, you know, dispute letters and not your typical collection letters. Um, they're actually powerful uh, letters that I sat down with me and my uh, attorney friend and we pretty much wrote these letters when drew the law, got a basic understanding and went ahead and wrote some letters, uh, some templates that you can use. Um, it's not really, it's not, not really bad to say uh, if they do find that the collection agencies are breaking the law they will go ahead and sue on your behalf as well you know you could get lucky and you know they win that case um and you'll get a check in the mail which is pretty dope um other than that i don't have too many i really don't have anything bad to say they're really dope if you don't have the time to learn how to do credit for yourself don't have the money to hire somebody and you know you just